Well, welcome to the Wildlife and Victors, guys. We're doing a little groundhogging today. Uh, for my client, she's got a groundhog living up under one of her sheds. It's doing a little damage to the foundation. Um, that's what groundhogs really do. They burrow down into the ground and they cause problems, you know, with foundations and different things like that. But their burrows can be pretty, pretty extensive underneath the ground. So in this situation, she just wants them out below this shed and she wants them removed. So if you guys take a look, I'll show you exactly how we're setting up the traps, what we're using, kind of how you get rid of one. Check it out. So as you can see here, we got a cage set up. Uh, we have nice fruits and vegetables for them. Um, that's kind of what they like. They're very sensitive, so human scent is a very key factor in this. So I have washed down my cages with scent-free soap. Um, I'm an avid hunter, so you know, being in the woods and hunting and tracking down animals, you gotta remove all the human scent. So in this case, I've scrubbed my cage down of all the human scents, and now we're just gonna bait them up. Um, they got the fruits and vegetables, so we'll see here, uh, you know, in a couple days what happens. Hopefully the fruits and vegetables start disappearing, and then he moves right into the cage. But check it out, let me show you some of the damage that he's doing around this shed here. Now right in here, you can see the damage. You can see where he's going through here, and right in here, where he's tunneled under. He's working his way all the way around, digging holes. And these are the most active areas right here where I'm setting the cages. You can see the trough that he goes down under right in here. So we have our cages set, baits in place. Now time is what we need. Well, just like that, by the end of the day, we got the groundhog in the cage ready for transport. Um, guys, it's not usually that easy. Uh, sometimes it takes time. So if you're trying it yourself, just be patient. Give it a little time. Uh, but if you guys need a professional, give the Wildlife Evictors a call. We'll come out and let us evict those wild animals for you.